Now the expansion of the chest. First of all, anterior expansion. As you are seeing in this photograph or video, first of all, rub your hands and put your palm over the anterior lower side of the chest walls. Just like this. The finger should be parallel to your ribs and thumb should be present at the center. And tell your patient or subject to take deep inspiration and expiration. Meanwhile, you have to see the movement of the both the thumbs. Whether the movement of both the thumbs is bilaterally symmetrical or not. Or you will find in some cases that one thumb movement is more than that of the another thumb. Then there will be the expansion of the chest only occurring on the one side but it is not present or it is not normal on the other side. That's what you have to check in the expansion of the chest. Expansion of the chest apical and you have to do this expansion of the chest in a sitting position only. Tell the subject to sit and you have to put your hands over the shoulder part of the subject on the back side as you are seeing in this photograph and tell your patient or subject to take deep inspiration and expiration meanwhile you have to see whether the movement of the both thumb is same on the both side or not expansion of the chest on the posterior side to examine the expansion of the chest on the posterior side, tell your subject to put the hands as you are seeing in this photograph crossly over the shoulders and later you have to put your hand over the lower rib cage on the posterior side. Fingers should be parallel to the ribs and the thumb must be at the center. Meanwhile, the same thing you have to note whether the both the thumb movement is bilaterally symmetrical or not. If you find that one thumb movement is more than that of the another thumb movement, that means the one side of the expansion of the chest is normal, but on the opposite side there will be or there isn't any normal expansion of the chest.